Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Jen and Marshall, Game of Thrones. Um, this may be a short uh, episode because, <laughs> I don't know, it's not that we didn't like this one, but we just didn't come away with the same visceral reaction as last episode, yeah. which saw the birth of that smoke monster in the cave. I mean, this, this episode opened with Renly dying. Were you shocked by that, by the way? I was. I think that it felt very sort of like... I- yeah, I was. I thought that it was amazing to me that they brought the magic in right then, mm-hmm. so quickly, right after the smoke monster. And, of course, we're using smoke monster because of what, Lost? Yeah, let's we'll use that. Whatever. Smoke uh, monster. Oh, smoke monster. So it just felt a little odd to me that they didn't sort of let you kind of, as a viewer, sit with that. And yeah, it was just of, boom from it, the beginning. It, you, there wasn't that much build up to it. You just suddenly saw this creature wreaking havoc. Mm-hmm. And... I was ready. I was on board with that. I was ready to sort of go with that um, concept and, for a while. Yeah, but then also there was just no there was no tension there. There was yeah, no. Yeah, just suddenly it happened, and and you know, I was like, oh, okay, so this episode is going to be about magic. But then the rest of the episode sort of petered out in terms of its in terms of its trajectory. In terms of it, just didn't feel that important somehow. Yeah, I mean, I think there was some interesting stuff. There was, you know, John gets to, John Snow gets to be a ranger and you go off, mm-hmm. you know, into the north and actually help out. And mm-hmm. Daenerys is having to decide where her, who she, she should ally herself with mm-hmm. to get back to Westeros. Arya is, you know, listening in to all the stuff, all the war talk, you know, because she's serving, you know, Cersei and Tyrion's yeah. father. Um, and so that's, there's some interesting stuff there, but I just think, I guess, yeah, we were talking about this, the episode before this. It was so much about atmosphere. It was so much about tone and so much about mood. And this was and so these much... these incredible images and, and moments. And this one was just so much about getting to the next episode. Yeah, you know? no, so much so, yeah. And I think it just didn't have real moments where you could settle in with the characters mm-hmm. and really experience either their dread or their anxiety. It was just... Every, every exchange felt very rushed and perfunctory. There was some, And the dialogue was just kind of... Like, Some moments were very crappy dialogue. Really, really Very bad. heavy-handed. Yeah. And just, my biggest qualm was that the way Renly was killed in the book, it happens out of nowhere, too. Because in the book, you don't get the, no- the, the foreknowledge of knowing that the smoke monster exists. It so you just, don't see the birth in the book? No, you, well, you don't see it until... They, it is a whole other discussion that she... They do it again. She does it see, twice that's in the book. Fascinating, and so though. you, you okay. see it the second time. And so the first time you see it is when it kills Renly. Yeah, the first time you see it when it is huh. when it kills Renly. Okay. And and so it's like I had to reread it like two or three times to figure out what just happens. Like, oh crap, huh. he's just dead. Whereas this one, I was like, were they going to let the audience sit with that knowledge that this That's... thing is floating around here and really build up a sense of dread? It's like, because you know, is it going to go after exactly. Renly? Is it going to go after Joffrey? You know, who knows? Dread. Yeah, that would have been such a great thing for them to do with it, mm-hmm. and to have it sort of kill this guy at the very beginning of the episode. You know, my initial thoughts of the episode was it was bookended by two great moments, mm-hmm. but I also am just disappointed that they didn't let that smoke monster just kind of exist in viewers' minds as something that could potentially come and at any wreak moment. Yeah. havoc. And you know they're they're stuck a, they're stuck was, with they're stuck with the need to move the story and I understand that and as a fan of the book I get it. But if they're playing it. with the plot already in terms of when they show yeah. the smoke, I mean I, that that just seemed like a poor choice. Yeah, interesting. Um, hmm. So yeah, I, it's not that I'm not excited about talking about this episode, but there just wasn't that much that excited me about this episode. I did like the little smile on Arya's face when she realized yeah, her power. Yeah, that was cool. I mean, that was just, it was a great way to end it. And it really was. I mean, just when you see initially she sort of has that big eye remorseful look and you're like, oh, please. Don't, don't you're go back. This, yeah. No, well, no, it was like, please tell me you're loving this. Yeah, yeah. Because you want her to love this. You yeah. want her to suddenly be invested in this power that she suddenly yeah. has. And yeah. for a second you fear, oh, she's going to go back on that but then she smiles just a yeah. little bit and it's yeah. a great it's a great last scene it's a great you know, it's, small but big moment yeah that's true that's true um yeah so but other than that kind of meh kind of meh kind of meh so I'm gonna give this one uh two and a half golden dragons yeah I think we're in agreement there two, two and, and a half, half golden dragons that's 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 that sorry sorry, guys. sorry if this one was shorter I guess we just we just weren't Motive, excited by this one. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, <laughs> maybe I still, you totally. If you disagree, let please us know. Tell us. Please, please tell us. Please tell us why we'll we're get, wrong about this. Exactly. Episode. Yes. Tell us why we're wrong. Um, thank you, guys, 
for watching. Thank you for uh, liking. Thank you for tweeting and commenting. Um, we'll be ne- back next week, and hopefully we'll, we will be much more enthused than we were this week. I'm sure we will. We will. I'm sure. It's I not going to let us sure. down. No. Um, I love you, darling. Thank I you for doing you. this. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.